Hello viewers, in today's class we are going to solve one important definite integral involving greatest integer function, right? So here we have to uh, evaluate this uh, uh, definite integral from uh, 0 to pi by 2 and greatest uh, integer uh, 2 sin x, right? So here uh, this symbol uh, denotes a greatest integer function, right? So let us call this integral as i. Okay, so now uh, let uh, f of x is equal to uh, greatest integer uh, 2 sin x, right? And uh, here we see that uh, the value of x uh, varies from uh, 0 to pi by 2, right? So x varies from 0 to pi by 2. So when x is equal to 0, then f of 0 is equal to uh, 2 sin uh, 0. And uh, here we have uh, uh, 2 times uh, sin 0 is 0. And this is uh, greatest integer 0. And uh, its value is 0, right? Now when x is uh, equal to pi by 2, uh, we have uh, f of pi by 2 is equal to uh, greatest integer 2 sin pi by 2, right? And the value of sin pi by 2 is uh, 1. So we have greatest integer 2 multiplied by 1. This is 2. And the value of uh, greatest integer 2 is 2, right? So what we have observed here uh, we have seen that when x varies from uh, 0 to pi by 2, uh, the function uh, f of x uh, varies from uh, 0 to 2, right? So let us take the number line and here we have uh, 0 and uh, here we have 2, right? And uh, we see that uh, the integer uh, 1, uh, it lies between uh, 0 and 2 right okay so now here we see that uh, uh, we have two intervals one is from uh, 0 to 1 and other is from uh, 1 to 2 right okay so now uh, our next aim is to uh, write f of x the given function uh, in terms of uh, these two intervals Right? So we'll uh, break this uh, function into two intervals, one from 0 to 1 and other is from 1 to 2. Right? So when uh, this uh, 2 sin x, right? so when uh, this 2 sin x lies between 0 and 1, then we see that, then we see that uh, the value of uh, f of x is equal to uh, 0 right and when uh, this 2 sin x lies between 1 and 2 then the value of uh, the function uh, f of x is uh, equal to 1 right so here we have used uh, the definition of uh, greatest integer function so what we are saying here uh, we uh, we see that when this 2 sin x it lies between 0 and 1 say if 2 sin x is equal to uh, suppose here we have uh, uh, 0 0.5 right so when we have 2 sin x is equal to 0 0.5 then obviously the value of uh, greatest integer 2 sin x is equal to uh, greatest integer 0 0.5 and the value of uh, greatest integer 0 0.5 is obviously uh, 0 due to the definition of uh, greatest integer function because uh, here we have to uh, find the integer uh, greatest integer less than or equal to 0 0.5 now uh, similarly when uh, 2 sin x lies between 1 and 2 uh, then the value of this function is 1, 
right so let us uh, take an example suppose uh, uh, 2 sin x is equal to uh, say 1.5 so here uh, we have 1.5 and 1.5 lies between 1 and 2 right okay so when 2 sin x is 1.5 then then the value of uh, this greatest integer 2 sin x is uh, uh, equal to greatest integer 1.5 and the value of greatest integer 1.5 is 1 right okay so this is how uh, we have expressed this function uh, in terms of uh, these two intervals right now here we have this uh, inequality and this inequality and let us solve uh, these two inequalities for x right so the first one is uh, uh, 0 less than or equal to 2 sin x less than 1 and uh, uh, let us uh, divide throughout by 2 so we have 0 here here we have sin x and here we have half right and uh, here we see that uh, when sin x uh, lies between 0 and half then obviously uh, x uh, lies between uh, 0 and uh, pi by 6 right because the value of pi by 6 sin pi by 6 is half right okay so this uh, inequality is reduced to this one similarly uh, let us solve this one so here we have 1 less than or equal to 2 sin x less than 2 now dividing throughout by 2 here we have half and uh, here we have sin x and less than uh, 1 right so when sin x uh, lies between half and 1 then obviously x uh, lies between pi by 6 and uh, pi by 2 because the value of uh, sine pi by 2 is equal to 1 right so now uh, this function f of x can now be written as uh, here we have 0 when uh, x lies between 0 and pi by 6 so here we have 0 less than or equal to x and here we have pi by 6 and f of x is equal to 1 when uh, this inequality holds and this inequality is equivalent to this one so here we can write pi by 6 less than or equal to x less than pi by 2 so viewers uh, what we have done here we have expressed f of x in terms of uh, two intervals and uh, here we have these two inequalities we have reduced these two inequalities uh, in terms of x right and then f of x can be written like this clear so now we observe that f of x is equal to 0 when x lies between 0 and pi by 6 and f of x is equal to 1 when x lies between pi by 6 and pi by 2 right and here we have to integrate this function that is f of x from 0 to pi by 2 so here we have 0 and here we have pi by 2 so we see that here we have 0 here we have pi by 2 and uh, the point which lies between uh, 0 and pi by 2 uh, is pi by 6 right so now this integral i uh, can be uh, can be written as a sum of two integrals i1 and i2 right so here we have uh, for i1 we have uh, from uh, 0 to pi by 6 right so the first integral is from 0 to pi by 6 f of x dx and the second integral i2 is from pi by 6 to pi by 2 pi by 6 to pi by 2 f of x dx 
okay so now uh, we see that when x lies between 0 and pi by 6 the value of f of x is 0 so here we have 0 and when x goes from pi by 6 to uh, pi by 2 then the value of f of x is 1 so here we have 1 right so now we can write it as 0 to pi by 6 here we have 0 dx plus uh, pi by 6 to pi by 2 and for f of x we have uh, 1 so here we have 1 dx so now the value of this integral is 0 and uh, because the integrand is 0 here and here we have uh, uh, x the integral of uh, 1 dx is uh, x and the limits are from pi by 6 to pi by 2 and this is uh, uh, pi by 2 minus pi by 6 so substituting the limits and taking the difference uh, we have pi by 2 minus pi by 6 so this is uh, the LCM is 6 so here we have 3 pi minus pi so we have 2 pi over 6 so this is pi over 3 right so the value of uh, this integral is uh, pi over 3 right